We cannot replace him. We cannot. Ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. We've got a bit, we've got some sad news, obviously. It's probably, champ, we've got champions of Scotland back again, and obviously, back to the Champions League. But we've got some sad news today, um, and it did come out this morning. It was posted on Tom Rogic's, um Instagram, you know, thanks for the memories. It was kind of pictures throughout the years of Tom Rogic's career. Ten years. And he'll be torn, you know, it was going throughout, throughout the week. Uh, we kind of touched on it in the podcast and all. Um, that he's Barbara saying, Best to last, thanks for all the memories beat on, stuff like that. And sadly, today it is coming true. Celtic Football Club can confirm um, that um, long term servants Tom Rogic and Neil Beaton will end their 10 year stay at Celtic the, at the end of the season with the club, as I say, um, with Toyo Morris match against, um, against one of the final match um, and a Celtic jersey um, in their career. Um, as Postacoglu said, while we are very sad to see both Tom and Neil leave, we totally respect the decisions and wanting to seek a different challenge of football, having both played their part in our success for the past decade. But it's a really, it's really sad, man. A bit emotional. Um, after they've played part, practically my childhood of watching Celtic, growing up being Celtic, 10 years, just 4 years, you know, I'm 14. Uh, 10 years of my life is with Tom Rogic and Neil Beaton. Incredible. You know, they've been so great key players to this club. Roger, you can, any, you know, the, the Scottish Cup final win, the treble. Um, there's so many men who beat on the goals he scored and all. You don't expect that the chat goals, the cards, the red cards. Um, you know, somebody saying, the last, last time in a Celtic shot, just get your card beat on. I'd love to score another, another screamer. Um, the last time he scored um, was uh, end of 2021. It was like... Before before the game before they went to break against St Johnson. Um they've definitely made a tremendous con contribution to Celtic. There's no doubt about it, you know, throughout their successful period at club, a long time at the club and their minds and their the the the, the medals, the cups, the trophies, could triple treble. They le they don't really if it was last season you'd be leaving like, yeah you look at the success but you'd be on that bit last season you'd be looking at mm, you know what I mean it's you know I mean but this season they're, they're leaving as heroes. Since Premiership Champions, they've got a career, they've got a history they've got in their career, and they'll definitely tell that to the future. You know, Rogic, Wizard was, it looks like he slippers on his feet most of the time he had plays for Celtic. And it, it, it's, he's going to be a big miss at Celtic. Um, it, it, he's, they're so key. Um, you know, I, I totally respect, but, you know, they've been so. I think I can understand why the club have agreed to this. They were trying to get it beyond 2023, that was both their contracts still, but. They've been so long term servants at the club, ten year, almost ten years, and also, um, they're very great players, and the club respect their decision of leaving in the summer at the end of the season. So tomorrow will be the final game. Uh, it'll be very emotional altogether. Um, with Celtic champions, um, from Wednesday. I still get the smile off, but a very emotional day watching them videos. Um, it's happening. Beat on no more. Was of Oz, slippers, Rogic, no more. Um. Uh, but it is fighting, it is fitting that they do leave Celtic as champions. Um, you know, let's take a look at Nier Beaton first. So he said, an invincible, a consistent and a dominant Celtic era. Eight league titles, four Scottish Cups and six League Cups. What a career Nier Beaton has had at the club, not forgetting his tackles, the red cards, um, the goals he scored, some screamers, some brilliant goals, some absolute Brexit tackles as they call it. But what a career he's had, and I'd be sad to miss him, uh, see him go, he's, he's been phenomenal. Um, at the club, um, and best of luck to him, whatever he does, because he's been, uh, he's been what a servant to the club. I mean, the titles just shows it. The, the his whole career at Celtic just shows how he's done it. Um, uh, Rogic, um, yeah, Ro Rogic, uh, yeah, Rogic. I don't know, but uh, aye. So, Rogic, obviously, double treble, 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 triple treble, and obviously since Premiership champions, um. Uh, what a career! I, I couldn't get up the you know, trophies one, but oh my god, um, some career Tom Roach played all together this season. Rogic's played forty nine games, thirty three starts, six goals and ten assists. Uh, appeared obviously Europe League, Conference League, won the Central Premiership and League Cup. So he's not left. It's not left like he's a bad time. He's left at a good time. Both team, uh, both players and all. Um, so 
Um, there was. I'm going to clarify, guys, why they kind of left. I've got a good point. Uh, in case it seems strange that Beto and Rogic go, Celtic were keen on offer Rogic and Beto new deals beyond the expiry dates of summer 2023. But both players wanted to seek a new challenge this summer, having been incredible and long-term servants for the club. Those wishes were very, very much respected. And that was from Sky Sports. So you, you got to say, you know, I mean, you know, there definitely would be massive misses, but. I think the amount of strength we've got in midfield now with like Sadio Tati, Matt O'Reilly, um, so, and obviously you see the edge of belly even featured with Beaton and Roderick moving on, we'll definitely have a, a career path to the first team now, you know, more a chance getting in that team now. Uh, James McCarthy also up there. Um, so I, uh, it's really sad to go and, you know, you can see the famous phrase, it was at the start of the video, um, at Pep Guardiola when Aguero left, they'll never be, they'll never be, um, uh, there'll never be a player, I don't think, in my mind anyway, I don't know about your minds, but will ever be like a, a Rogic or a Beaton. You know, it, it just goes for a Beaton, the goals Rogic scored, even this season, I know. Superb. Um, you know, they'll, they'll leave heroes at the club. Absolute brilliant long term servants at the club, and best of wishes to them. Um, and hopefully they do well in their, the rest of their career. Um, being a footballer, um, but ah, it was very emotional seeing that today. Um, bye. It'll be the final time for get tomorrow, so let's make the best final time for Neil Beaton and uh, Tom Rogic tomorrow. And you know, I think we're glad that you know they're leaving heroes because I don't, I wouldn't like them not to. Um, but another person has been, another player has been out in the media uh, recently. Is fact, fact today, um, Chris Julian. He's not played a lot this season, obviously with injury and you know back track with the NGs and training. Potentially it's the real possibility that um they will look to leave the club this summer uh, with game time, you know. But I don't know where he's coming from because Carter Vickers and Starfelt are really key understand he's looking for uh, game time but we've got great defenders above him. I mean again it's like a situation we had in Fraser Forster, Craig Gordon. Craig Gordon when Fraser Forster was here doesn't get a game, right? Um, this is when Neil in like the second time, right? And we're heading into next season, the first force looks like to stay and then he's not. He's going back to so say it's like C C V, right? And then he goes back it goes somewhere else, right? And Craig Gordon's already left, so we don't we don't really have a good centre back there. We're talking about Ben. He'd be glad to have Chris Julian back if Carterich doesn't send Pemberley. Hopefully them deals that could run, but that's another thing in the media. Um aye. Um I'm still buzzing over champ Celtic team champions. I'll never get this smell off my face now. Um, <laughs> We're champions, champions of the group stage, manager that understands your club, not only to win stuff, just understands the club completely. Captain leads by example, best players in the country, sensational support. Glasgow Celtic in it. Um, and I will be at the game tomorrow and the celebrations will begin. Oh, they've been Wednesday, but normally. Um, as I said on the stream, I think, um, when I was doing the Dun United match, that Celtic have already talked, um, or oh, they could go for 90 point, 93 points tomorrow. Uh, they've already un unmasked Celtic's biggest Premiership points total since 2016 17 Invincible season, so that's in it's already what a stat is. Um, I'll sit fourth, they've already qualified for Europa Conference League, so again, it's you know it's a game that we did discuss a bit on the podcast. Um, looking for a good one, good send off for near Beaton and uh, Tom Rogic, maybe Tom Rogic, great goal, Beaton's like, hammering goal, or just a, a good good challenge. Eh? Um, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Um, i say it will be hard to see Beaton and Roderick play the last game at Celtic Park. And best of luck to him in the following career. Forrest get a new three year contract. They've got because that came out after the podcast. So, I mean, it's alright. I mean, hopefully he can. When he performed against Hearts, it was already, he's alright. So, hopefully he can do better next season. So, he's out to 2025. Um, but to wrap up, before we talk about Mullerwell, um, as I say, tomorrow Beaton and Roger will play their final goodbye. Beaton, 9 years, nearly 10 of course, 270 appearances, 18 honours. There's not that many who will achieve that here, here in the future, so definitely not. Um, so all the best for the future, um, near, near, uh, near Beaton. And if Roger, um, so Roger's going and all, I wonder if Celtic, um, the talks we'd, we discussed it in the channel before, Christopher Scott, he's a mid young midfielder from Bayern Munich. I wonder if that will flare up again since Roderick's leaving. Um, he's a young midfielder from Bayern Munich, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but aye, um, they're going to have the rules that I don't. They'll never be filled again like that. The way Roderick was, magic slip, slippers, 
was a village um, that I um, can't wait for tomorrow but I, it's going to be uh, emotional for Rogic and Beaton playing the last game at Celtic Park and for all the fans are all seeing them playing there for the last time but I, I think we're going to leave it there um, we talked about Motherwell in the podcast it's you know it's not a really game but just want to see title party play the best foot we can Celtic again usual stuff um, 4-0 Celtic um, Beaton Hattrick now yeah, it would be nice to see Beaton and Rogic play their final game start maybe um, Chris Julian maybe a start before he goes maybe um, I don't see it but see how that goes bye I'm going to leave it there um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Mullow game and the celebrations after it back in Glasgow so I will be there thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys um, tomorrow